Welcome to episode three of the Giants Gossip by New York Giants cast. We're going to be talking about the four signings that signed yesterday for us. And we're going to go into a bit of detail about each of them and what they will bring. So make sure you like and subscribe to the video. As always, your support is always going to help us grow this channel and keep me bringing you videos as and when they come. Before I get into the video, of course, once again, I must shout out our sponsors, Barn Stormers. They're a Sunday league team that play in the Southern Sunday Division 7. Give them a, a check out on the Twitter and Instagram links below. Give them a follow and support their content as well. But a tough season and we need some love at the moment. So yesterday, the Giants announced they had made four signings. And the first one was Jalen Holmes, the defensive end. He is a depth piece. He is a defensive end. So another piece that we're going to need. We've obviously got a, a thinner squad. Players have obviously come and gone. And we're just basically going for a revamp at the moment, as many of you know. He's not going to be major for us, but you could get in some decent snaps. And look, if he does well for us, it's going to be a brilliant uh, bit of business. But I think he's more just, you know, that piece of the jigsaw that you just need to add into your team. So more than happy with him joining. Here's some stats about him. He had 61 tackles in his career. 30 of them are solo. So look, what I believe that they're doing the right thing at the moment. I've had no reason to fault Jerry Shane or Brian Dable. So in my eyes, it's a good sign in for now. We'll see how he gets on. And, you know, best of luck to him in a New York Giant jersey. Like I said, I'm keeping this short. I don't want to ramble on too much because they're not major sign-ins. They're just depth pieces as and when we need them. So first sign-in, Jalen Holmes, the defensive end, has joined the New York Giants. Sign-in number two was Henry Black from the Green, previously with, sorry, with the Green Bay Packers. He is a safety, another safety piece. Um, here's some more stats about him. I've got him on my phone. He previously played all 18 games in his 2021 season and he made 25 tackles, 18 of which were solo. With this signing, what I will say is this like, is like rearranging the furniture. If you live in a house and sometimes you get bored of the way it looks, you move stuff about and you, know, you, you like it again. You haven't done much to it, but you like it because it looks new, it looks nice. I think this is what this kind of signing will be for us. Um, I don't think he was, he's going to be, he's not going to be major for us. It is only a safety, but look, it's another signing that we've made under the Jerry Shane and Dable era. And what I will say is any signing they do make, and I'll keep reiterating this until they do something wrong at this franchise, well, I'll keep supporting them. And I'll believe that the signings they're bringing in are for the right reasons and the right causes. And they're going to take us to that next step. Look, they're not going to be major signings for us, but another safety piece. You can't complain. Four new bodies in the building. And, you know, happy days, as we say. Then we also made two more signings. This was all obviously announced in one go, but obviously I'm just breaking it down. The next two have both previously played with Wink Martindale. If you don't know who Wink Martindale is, where have you been? He was previously the defensive coach for the Baltimore Ravens. He's now at the New York Giants. He has got a very good reputation. And the first guy we're going to talk about is Maurice Canada. I think that's how you say it. May have butchered that. Let me know if it's wrong. But he is a cornerback. Obviously, the big news is that James Bradbury obviously left a couple of weeks ago now and has gone to division rivals Philadelphia Eagles. That has caused some um, Twitter beef, I guess you could call it, uh, regarding the move. But James Bradbury's got to go get paid and, and we couldn't afford to keep him. And best wishes to him. And from my opinion, you've got to give him the best of luck, just not against the New York Giants or if it's a game that matters for us in terms of us doing well and climbing up the stand is next season. But yeah, James Bradbury left. So we have a massive hole to fill now at cornerback. So look, we're not going to get anyone amazing. We're in a massive rebuild. We're going to have to go for players that, you know, can just come in and just kind of do a job and just allow us to rebuild um, on smaller contracts. And then obviously allows us to build up in the future to maybe get someone a bit better. But yeah, Maurice Canada, here we go. We've got some bits about him. He is obviously a cornerback, played with Wink Martindale. Uh, before previously at the Baltimore Ravens. So he's going to understand what Wink wants out of him, basically. Obviously, it's going to be a different setup. It is going to be a different style of play. But he would not have been brought in without, obviously, Wink um, getting involved in them conversations and telling him, Joey Shane, this is what we need. This is, you know, I can make him a better player. I can make us a better team if you bring him in. And that leads me on to signing number four. And guess who it is? It's no one that big. It's just Khalil Corsi. I've got it down as no, 
Khalil Dorsey, never mind, I've butchered that one. He is also a cornerback and has also previously played, like I said, with Wink Martindale. Now, for me, what that screams is that Wink's gone in there and turned around and went, look, we've got rid of Brad Boo because we couldn't keep him. You need to go get me players now that within our budget I can use and improve. And that's what they've gone out and done. It's, like I said earlier, rearranging the furniture. These players aren't going to be amazing for us, but it's new, it's fresh, we can try something new. Bear with me. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And we move on to the next thing and we try again next year. But if, it, if they do work, we've got someone on, you know, a smaller contract that comes in and does the job. You know, it's, it's a win-win situation for the Giants and that we're in a, a bad way financially. So we've just got to be happy with what we get. And, you know, hopefully these four boys come in and, and you know, they make a stance in this team and, you know, maybe they're one for the future. Maybe they come in and they don't, it doesn't all work out, but, but you've got to give it a go. And, and that's what in the position we're at at the moment, we haven't got the luxury of picking players. It's more a domino effect of who's available um, and a sort of waiting for teams to action on their kind of side. So four signings in the door, four new pieces, four new fresh faces for them, for them to work on in the summer and get that chemistry going. I'm, I'm not I'm not ecstatic because, like I said, it's not amazing, uh, amazing players coming in. But I'm happy that we're still trying to rebuild uh, the team and the franchise itself. One thing I will touch upon with the the two cornerbacks that have come in, there's no, look, they're not going to be James Bradbury. That's just not going to happen. We've lost James Bradbury because we simply can't afford to keep him on um, in the team. We're still going to have that hole, I believe, in that cornerback slot. And I think we're still going to be weaker there, obviously, with, with the exit of James. So these two boys coming in, losing James, it's going to be, I guess they're probably going to get more minutes and more snaps because of it um, without without James. Whether they play, obviously, we've got the, the lad from the draft and we've also got a couple of other players that are still at the Giants. So the James Bradbury loss allows opportunity for other players it allows us to gain some money back. It's not ideal losing James Bradbury to a division rival. Um, if he could have gone anywhere, you, you sort of want him as far away from the Giants as possible. But obviously, to be having to to play him, it, I think I think we play him on the we play him on one of the final games of the season. So that'll be interesting. Imagine if James Bradbury stops us getting into their playoffs. That will uh, Twitter will go down like a mad one. But yeah, that yeah, they are the four signings. I'll wrap them up now for you while I have a look at my phone because I need to remember their names. We have signed Jalen Holmes, the defensive end, Henry Black, the safety, Khalil Dorsey, the cornerback, and Maurice Kennedy, the cornerback. Those are your four signings. That is your lot for today. Like I said, if you have like, if you do enjoy these videos, please drop a like and subscribe. Also leave some comments for some feedback on things that I can obviously do better as well. Open and happy to that. But yeah, I'll see you for the next time the Giants have a bit of gossip. See you then.